So, identify a range of alternative exercises for adaptation, including any appropriate progressions and regressions. Um, you could increase the intensity of the weight gradually. Um, uh, just keep, I don't really know what. So what... So what would you do if a client came who hadn't trained for say five or six years, who may be recovering from an injury? So what sort of would so what sort of progressions or what might hinder their performance? Um, obviously the injury prior to them working out, so you'd have to maybe work around that for a bit or do really light exercise in that area to uh, almost remobilize and, and get, regain strength in that area so that over time they could potentially use it efficiently. What might happen if you went in it too quickly? They could go back into injury and it could um, regress the progression of the health in the, in the, dis in the injured part. Good. Um, outline the importance or methods of voice project projection to include the effective use of volume and pitch of voice. It's always important to um, use your voice when you're in charge of a session control the intensity of the session, um, show where someone may be going wrong or if they're going right, it's always good to praise and um, when you're uh, encouraging a client, it's good to raise your voice and tell them that they're doing well so that they feel as if they, they know and they can push themselves further. Good. Um, final one then, outcome. Explain the purpose and value of a cool down. It's important to cool down so your body can release lactic acid from the muscles and to slow your heart rate down at a reasonable pace. What sort of exercises might you do on a cool down then? Um, some more light jogging, some static stretches. Um, if someone's been doing high intensity cardio, it's important for them to slow their machine down at the correct pace because you can shock your heart. Right, okay. Explain why clients need to understand purpose and value of a cool down. It's important for a client to understand the value of a cool down so that then they understand that they shouldn't put their body under st stress um, without good reason and so that they realise that you're doing it for their safety and, and nothing other than that. So what does a cool down help to prevent for a client? Um, injury, lactic acid in the muscles, aching, recovery time. Good. Um, describe safe and effective cool down activities for gym based exercises. So just give us three or four. A light jog, maybe some light rowing, some static stretches, some more very light free weights just to keep those joints from stiffening up too quick. Um, and then, yeah, that's fine. Right, how long should a cool down last for approximately? About 10 to 15 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah, if it's been quite a long session. Good. Um, right.